Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Backpack Hero, the second to last one for a long time. It's hard mode level 5, which is minus 25 to max health, a whopping plus 50% to enemy health, as opposed to minus 25 plus 35% in hard mode 4. Um, standard minus 2 items after each battle, minus 1 item from chess, and an additional minus 10% luck from hard mode 4, so now it's up to minus 25%. Let's go. So, yeah, this means enemies have a lot of health. And I can die from a double slime battle. Rat Wolf Slime is the easier of the two. Since I know I can safely attack or safely focus the slime right now. That worked out really well, actually. And now the Rat Wolf I should be able to kill before he has too much attack. Because, yeah, let's start for this 47. With 26 health, that means he will have 5 left after an attack, meaning. Okay. There we go. Okay, with 18 attack, I should be fine. Oh. Standard upgrading system. Okay, let's grab the letter. I think letter will be more useful here. And see what this question is. Ooh. Okay, what is more valuable? More space or more damage? I think I'm gonna go weapon. Fish sword. Okay. This is pretty good. Being a just small stat a small sized weapon for minus one damage. I can work with this. If I go like so. Yep. Okay. Let's see. So Brigand will have sixty health from the plus 50% and the little bee will have 24. I mean, that's 84 a t total health between the two. Even if I focus the bee, it will still take a full meal. Okay, actually, let's see. So, what I can deal. I should be fine, actually, with the meal. Because I can use the letter. To now deal to now deal 12 damage in attack, which is actually more than I thought I would deal. I can get a perfect kill. Wow. I was expecting to deal a max of 11 damage, actually. Okay. I think I should go rare herb. Max health is very important. Archery with longbow. An archer one plus longbow could be fun for another day. Not here though. I think I should grab the dagger. That way I can get a very strong turn one. There'll be small rat wolf. Easy fight. I can easily use the dagger to deal good damage. 
since all poison will add up. And save kill. Boom. Um oh boy. I'm gonna make this even harder for myself and not go spike builds. The spikes are just too overpowered. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna grab the knight armor instead, I believe. There we go. Ooh, the right gaunt right gauntlet could be pretty good, especially with steel boots. There's a lot of good items at the shop, and none of them are on sale. <clears throat> Just great. And start the poison early. Luckily, Knight's Armor buffs my rough buckler, so that's good to have. And I should get the kill. Yep. There we go. Okay. Club is very powerful. Um, but there is also the bronze breastplate. I think I'm going to get rid of the letter. And go for consistent increased damage so let's see our hmm. we have one chest and one fight left I'm going to have to sell basically anything I can since I can afford doing that, actually. Item-wise. Unable to get the kill. That sucks. Whatever. I'm fine. Actually, you didn't even need to block. So that's great. Again, not going spikes. Spikes are... Spikes are too safe. It says I've done spikes to death in several other videos. So if you want to know how spikes work, it's basically just stall and win. Okay. I think Iron Helmet's the play here. Just getting it. That way I get a nice amount of block safely. And. Okay. No consumables to sell here. Here I have options. I could go with the gauntlet. Selling my shield entirely for this. Actually, I think that'll work. You know, if I sell my shield. Or I could get more max health. Either way, I think selling my shield is a good idea. And actually. Fish sword, not gonna work for me. Instead, I'm going to buy the wooden blade. Yeah. Wooden blade, which will put me at too short to get a crimson energy, unless I sell the knight's armor. Or bronze breastplate. If I sell the bronze breastplate. Hmm. Give me a second to think this through. Okay, I think I made my decision. I'm going to sell my dagger. The dagger gives me the least in benefits. 
and buying a full crimson energy should be more than enough. Okay, yeah, I am recording. Um... Okay, Trouble Rat will fight. I just have to hope I can... kill everything before they kill me. But, luckily, I should be... I should be fine, actually. I can uh, kill a rat wolf in two turns, and now that I killed that first rat wolf, they can't overpower my shield. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. I think buying, I think getting the key is worth it here. That way after this purple slime fight, I can get multiple items instead of just one I would have gotten earlier. And I just picked one up from that fight. Okay, here I have options. If I go weak, that is really good. I can go Club or Night Shield. Night Shield gives 3 block plus additional. However, I don't think at the moment there are any fights that I need to be afraid of where hmm, um, it would be better to have more block than just using weak. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and sell this wooden blade. Flame gem is probably out of my price range, but we'll see. Might get two legendaries from this chest. It's incredibly unlikely, but theoretically possible. I think grabbing any item I can is worth it here. Never know what you can sell. I think I need the Needler. I've got the club. Club's gonna be my weapon of choice. Okay, I think I need to buy that cave fish for the boss fight, just so I can heal up. I'm missing almost 50% of my health. Ooh, Cursed Blade. Okay, let me grab this. and immediately sell it. Halfway to my goal. And we're gonna have one cell left. So I'm gonna need to make it count. With the weak, though, I should be even better in this fight because, well, my opponents can't deal damage to me. Even if I wasn't, even if I didn't have a stupid amount of block, the club is another very powerful weapon. to expand off to this side, working in a diagonal to get as many helmets as I can. And as this point is a rare, actually, no, do I want, okay. I have two main options here, liquid luck or the splint. 
I can get um I can get enough money for the flame gem either way. So actually I have three options then. I can grab the shield for an additional three block. I can grab the splint for extra money. Or the liquid luck for luck. I think shield is gonna be the play here. Ooh, this is, this worked out well. I think throwing my boots sideways like this is actually a good option. So it gets buffed by all the armor. And now I can sell my arrow. This is the one item I have and don't need. To give me the perfect amount for my flame gem. I see this works out pretty well for me. And giving two burn on the club makes this a very powerful weapon. It's now like a stronger needler. And it's the rude rooster. This fight is stupidly easy with the club. As you just negate the main benefit of or the main challenge of the rooster. <laughs> so yeah, all that's left after this is unfair mode, which is basically like hard mode, except you don't get relics. I think I'm gonna grab the spicy ginger. This gives an immediate effect, and I need immediate effects. Robot toy. Do you think that's worth passing up boots? Yes, I do. I'm also going to toss my lucky ring for another potion. That way I get plus two damage on my club. Eh, this is a stupid club. Well, let's go on and fight the two blue slimes. Ooh boy, this is going to hurt. Um, Shiv. Club, 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 club. Okay. Then I think I'm going to use the debuff potion now. Oh. Um. Goodbye, shield. Actually, no. Goodbye, Shiv. Tossing the Shiv is the is it's the least important thing I have. Still not going spikes. And and Okay yeah, I'm gonna use the potion. Not worth taking three damage. Okay, we've got free two da free two damage on the robot toy. Now I could grab the potion, or I could grab the poison potion. I think that's what I'll do. I'll grab the poison potion just because it is a consumable. Though actually grabbing the dart might be better. Okay, let's hear. It's either the dart or the poison potion. Poison potion will deal more damage. So I'm 
or I can grab the water flask. I think grabbing water flask is actually going to be my go-to here. Anyway, I'm going to focus one blue slime. This one front. And okay, blue slime is the first blue slime is dead from fire. So I can focus purely on the second now. Okay. Ooh, and it's dead to fire. I don't need to worry about spikes anymore. Now let me buff the robot toy. And... I have just enough for a healer visit. Let me grab the poison potion. Okay, Armadillo Crossbowman. That is a fight. Um... Armadillo is a big threat, although so is the crossbowman with that one dodge. We'll see how much damage Armadillo deals. Sixteen. Okay. I'm safe. So, phew. Able to kill the crossbowman turn two. That was a relief. Not a much. Actually, not. Got slightly higher roll on his attack there. Ooh, Archangel armor. Okay. That is pretty good. Now, let's see how I rearrange my inventory to throw that in. I think tossing the helmet's the right call here. That way I can throw my Archangel armor in. Yeah. Haste is too powerful to pass up. Okay, moving on to part two of the Deep Cave. Oh, this is going to be a lot. Um, okay, let's hear. So, these two will deal 22. And he will... He's dealing 9. So, that's 31. And I have 11 block. So, if I attack once and then block, I'm going to at 29, which is perfect. Okay, thought I was able to attack the Sable three times. And here, I could just attack the Sable four times. And he's dead to one club hit. And I can now focus on the crossbowman. Okay, with the Archangel armor, turn one is the only important turn since that. Ace just ramps up and your opponents can't hurt you anymore. Until you have to worry about status effects. And there we go. Um. Okay, I think tossing 
the mana stones actually to play here. So that I can grab... Let's go with the cool drink. No, no, no. Not cool drink. Let's go cleansing potion. Cleansing potion has a big benefit when we get to the final floor. Um... Let's just... Let's just throw all of the debuffs on this club. Plus two poison. I never go poison. Let's go poison. Why not? Uh, this club will just give you every single debuff. Because why not? Ooh. I'm actually going to waste time here and reorganize. Is the club will be hyper boosted. Uh, this is a stupid run. Okay, I should be. I can avoid all damage. It's good. And I'm gonna grab the. Why am I down to tw to nine health? When did I take damage? I need the regen potion now. How did I, how did I lose so much health? I was doing fine. Okay, luckily there is a, a cave fish. Or, there's a blue fin that I can use for healing. Uh, oh my gosh, that, that is not good. Losing that much health that fast, oh boy. Oh boy. Play it safe. I just need to play it safe now. Okay, now... Now I'm good. I can focus one badger at a time. Yeah, I think this is just the build for going with the Poison Forge upgrade. I'll take the Heart Ring, I guess. Okay. Extra haste. The fact that I got two badgers on one floor is really lucky. I'm gonna sell the heart ring since my health is stupid low. get the fish um, I should be fine okay yeah I'm good I'm good Phew. I'm be worried there for a second Cleansing Bomb is not what my strategy calls for at all. So I think I'm just going to grab the dart. Just a little bit of extra damage. Okay. Sable is dead to flint to burn. Again. The rough executioner fight can be really scary, I guess. Uh, 
But anyway, let me grab the warm drink. I'll sacrifice an energy for this. Ooh, red pearl. No way I can afford it. But I'll toss the robot toy when it's not on sale. There we go. Okay. The thing that I really want. Okay, I'm gonna play the Repsecutioner fight really safe. And see if I can spot when I'll take damage. Is, yeah, that's gonna take so much damage. Very strange. Oh, could that be it? Could it be the fact that the last hit will just ignore block? No? Hmm. Okay. Brass knuckles are pretty good. And it's a, it's a rare, so it sells for a good chunk as well. For a good amount of cash as well. Actually, that'll give me enough to get the red pearl I really want. Yeah. Let's go stupidly boosting this club. Oh my gosh. To the point where this club now deals 15 damage. Plus poison and flame. I think I'm ready for whatever this boss is going to be. If it's the badger boss, that's gonna be a long one. Ooh, bleed master. Okay, bleed master, I can play safe. Slowly whittle down the health bar and start setting up status effects. Yeah, I should be good. I'm dealing like 40 damage a turn. Why are poison and flame not adding up? That is really strange. Uh, whatever. Saving the dart, since I don't need to use it. And... There we go. Ooh, windmill. Okay, um... I think... Let's see, so this dart can go... Along with... Temporarily sacrificing one energy to gain one energy. It makes sense, I promise. Now my plan is once I can expand my backpack, I'll move the crimson energy and actually be able to use it again. Oh, no, do not exit to menu. This is what the regen potion is for. There's no way I could avoid damage there. And now... 
gotta use the cleansing potion. Otherwise, I would keep taking a lot of poison damage. I hate that the regen took effect before the poison, so I healed nothing. But, might as well still expand my bag, anyway. Ooh, bluefin. It, are there lock chests? There is one, but I'll have I have time. I think grabbing the blue fin's more important. Snake and all, with one additional energy at the start of this fight, I should be able to now get the kill on the snake. It's a close thing, but... Phew! I avoided basically instant death. Okay, this is going surprisingly well. Um, yeah. Let's see, our next game on the channel is going to be... Mario Galaxy, I believe. So, if you guys hate Backpack Hero, rest assured, it's almost over. Okay. Yeah, it should be fine. Okay, yeah. Poison will kill him. This fight's definitely going to be scary, no matter how much attack I have. And the snake can basically instantly kill me. If it gets that poison off and I don't have a cleansing potion, the ohm just has too much health. So I'm going to grab another cleansing potion just to keep myself safe. And, like, grab more max health. Snake and fire gecko or double gecko? Let's see, I believe... Dumb, okay, so the double gecko fight... If I go with this setup here... This will give me a space for a curse at the cost of two damage. And luckily these guys give weakness and slow as their curses. So, I should be fine there. Since I can just use those without fear. And... Fight's over now. Since with one gecko, yeah, it doesn't matter. You can have all the reach and and rage he wants. I'll still win. Let me grab a key fish. Might as well get that one health of mine back. Okay, let's hear. So that's 21 damage. Ooh. Okay, let's hear. Do I risk it? No. I'm gonna... I know I'll survive his attack. 
And I can always just heal the dam that small burn damage later. But, well, did not want to risk the poison. Poison avoidance is the name of the game here. But, well, okay, we're on to floor eight. Let's see here. Still not gonna go spikes. I'll go warm drink. Might as well. Besides, what else am I gonna go and grab? My plan's looking pretty good. In all honesty, club is probably the best common weapon. Unless you're going pure bows, in which case arrow, I guess you would say is the best, but... Okay, let's see. So, 35 damage. This is going to be a long fight. Um, okay, let's see, so that's 16, 39, just block once. Oh boy. Goodbye cleansing potion. And then time to just block. I know that's overkill block, but better safe than sorry. Besides, builds up haste. The fact that flame and poison don't line up is... Or burn and poison aren't lining up is kind of strange to me. Like, I'm not sure why that's happening. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. This is totally fine. I'm at 57 armor. I'm at 57 block. Just for free. And it goes up every turn. I can survive this. And there we go. I think grabbing the warm drink is quite is play just because it's slightly more healing. Extra poison damage! Yay! Okay, Queen V Blade Master should be a simple fight. And I should be able to take out the Queen easily enough. Yeah, I'll just block twice now, and... Okay. Your curses mean nothing to me.
And now, I can use the warm drink and start beating up the Blade Master. becomes a lot more tedious at later levels. Emerald bracelet sells for a lot. It's the only reason I'm going for it. Any one of these three is pretty good. So I'm glad I got the tower shield. Since with this, I can gain an extra six block <laughs> just for free. Hey, definitely selling the emerald bracelet. Let's see, I could go gemstone heart, gain passive healing would work pretty well with Poison Ivy. Don't think I'm going to go Poison Ivy, though. I'll, however, just grab two consumables. Okay, Ferret King and Badger Boss should be an easy fight. Since, well... They're just summoners. The real scary part is, well, early game. And that's when they're at their weakest. Yeah, with a infinite haste, with a haste build, longer the fight goes on, the safer you are. Now I can slowly work through the minions, or just ignore them and go for the boss. I think it's time to start focusing on the badger boss. Since there can only ever be four enemies on screen, Four or five. I think it's four. But either way, there can, there's a max amount of enemies. Once that limit's hit, I'm safe. Um, buddy, you're kind of in my space. <laughs> And of in my personal space. Learn boundaries, man. Let me take let me just take a quick screenshot since that's pretty funny. Mm. Boundaries are important. And that's why your boss is dead. Let's add extra damage using the extra poison damage using the Pedal. Because why not at this point? But oh boy, that forced fight against Okay, I think Gemstone Heart is pretty important here. To the point, I think Song Tower Shield is the way to go. 
because I don't need to worry about attack for... I don't need to worry about them attacking and hurting me. So, getting the gemstone hard up is more important. Because with the gemstone hard up, I can shoot, I can take the curses safely. Blade Master, this fight's easy. And now I'm dreading the Living Shadows. So each one should have 300 health. My club, it, so focusing on just one at a time. Okay. How many curses can I prevent? Can I prevent one? That's my goal. Prevent one curse. Actually, I can now grab this iron helmet I was wanting earlier. Okay, so with them having 300 health each, um, let's see, my club deals, so I have 5 energy, so I'll call it 10, and I deal about 20 damage worth, so that's 200, okay, I might actually be able to survive this battle. But, we'll have to see. Okay, at least I don't have to worry about the uh, other shadow. Okay. I did not time that correctly. I thought thought I did just barely enough, but instead I just barely missed the mark. Might as well use my water flask now, I guess. I can just heal through this. It's fine. It's fine. Now I don't need to worry about the curses. Okay, cave fish or warm drink are my two main options here. I think I'm going to go warm drink. And a second warm drink. And liquid armor just to be safe. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. It's time for the final boss of hard mode level 5 beaten with no spikes but still abusing status effect, status conditions and they're, they're just very powerful and look at this over 1000 health on this one boss. Uh. Okay, what status? Okay, so the king is only missing. Well, there are very few status effects the king is actually missing right now. 
is, let's see here, there's haste, obviously, dodge, block, er, er not slow, okay, that's what I was thinking of, and that's it. I think that's every single status effect the king is missing right now. Oh, the blue slime is dead, so I don't need to worry about him. Instead, I can just focus on continuing to pile poison. <laughs> the club is powerful. That's, that's the takeaway of this video. Club needs a nerf. There's no way a common weapon should be just, when you get it, you don't need to replace it with anything else. Extra poison. Might as well kill this crossbowman now. He's coming back next turn. He's coming back this turn anyway, but... You know. Might as well. And really, I'm just stalling until I can... Well... Have the king succumb. So yeah, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Um, I'm Kendra Four Two Seven. I'm doing unfair mode next. If you have enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring the notification bell, share this video with a friend, all all the YouTube stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Bye.